Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today we are going to see what is a normal subgroup in our group theory. That is defined with a multiplicative operation and we have a subgroup of G that is represented by H. As it is a subgroup of the group G, so this has the same multiplication operation on which the G has defined. Now, we can write H as that it contain elements and represented by H i, where i is the index. Take any element from G and it is represented by small g. And the combination of the elements of subgroup and group is this that here we have an element g of the group and h i the elements of the subgroup and g inverse is also an element of the group so this is the transformation and because h i is an element of a subgroup if we, if we pick any element from this let's suppose we have h1 and here g h1 g inverse and then by doing this we have an element and for h2 and g inverse is fixed and we are just replacing elements of h so by changing the elements of the subgroup we have another element so by this we have another set and this will be the conjugate subgroup and now we can write G, H, I, and G inverse as G, H, and G inverse because we have to take all of the elements of the subgroup. So instead of writing H, I, where I belongs to natural numbers, we can represent G, H, G inverse. So this is just as this that we are going to take every element from the subgroup. So if this equals to the subgroup H, that is the conjugate subgroup, have elements just as same of the subgroup for all of the elements of G. Here we have only a fixed element of G and we are replacing the element and then we have to take other element of G and then doing the same process again and again for all of the elements of G. Then this H, then this subgroup H is to be a normal subgroup of the group G. Now what is the definition of a normal subgroup? that if we have a group G and a subgroup H then H is said to be a normal subgroup it is also known as self-conjugate of the group and it is also a subgroup so H is said to be a normal subgroup of G if it coincides with the conjugate subgroup that every element of H is equal to the conjugate subgroup for every element of, uh, of G and it satisfies this property and some of as G H is G and that is in the form of the left coset and right coset elements of G. So in both cases it is, it is true and this is the definition of the normal subgroup. Now we'll see some of the examples of the normal subgroups. In group we have phi psi and there is additional information that phi cube and psi square and phi psi whole square is identity so now we can write this group in a more simple way that we can understand easily by using the additional properties and h is a subgroup of the group g on the same operation on which the g has defined so h is uh, con it contains phi and contains additional information that phi cube is equal to identity so we is on a simple basis as that is we have one phi because phi cube is identity so we can write phi square and psi and psi square is identity so we can write here identity and the next one is phi psi whole square is is identity so we can form the pair as one of the pair is phi and psi the second one is phi square psi. The third possibility will be phi cube psi and phi cube is 
is identity so we only left with psi and psi is also here so we don't write to so we don't need to write it again and the next possibility is we have psi square phi and psi square is again identity so we don't need to write it again so the g has one two three four five six elements now h can be written as because it contains phi and phi cube is identity so we can write phi square and the identity so now we have to check that whether it satisfies this property for all of the elements of g so let's start doing this so let g is equal to phi and now we'll check the equality that holds for h or not so g h g inverse and for h we have to take the very first element of h that is phi now we'll simplify this and it is there that phi cube is identity so we can find the value of the phi inverse so we can write this as phi square into phi is identity and phi square is equal to phi inverse so the inverse is equal to phi square so this whole thing can be as phi square and this is also a phi square and this is phi 4 and can be written as phi cube into phi this is identity so we only left out with the phi and this is an element of h so this is true because the conjugate subgroup have the very, very first element as phi now second element phi square now here g is fixed and we have to take the other element of h that is phi square and phi inverse now we can simplify it this is phi cube and this is phi square and this is identity so we can only have phi square and this is also an element of h so in the conjugate subgroup we have phi square now checking for we're not going to check it for identity because we know that for identity true the whole e equation will be an element of h as well that is if we have identity here then this and this will give us identity and identity is an element of h and identity is every element it is the element of every group and subgroup now we can change the element from g and we can take it phi square and then proceed in the same way taking the elements of h now we have g phi square and phi is the first element of the subgroup h so we can write this as phi cube and we know that phi square is phi inverse so if we take this way then phi square inverse is equal to phi so this is equal to phi and we can write this as here and phi cube is identity so we can only left it out phi and that is an element of h so phi is also an element of h so we cannot write it again now we have another element that is phi square so we can the second element of h that is phi square and we can proceed it with this so we have phi 4 and this is again phi and phi 4 can be written as phi cube into phi and that phi with again phi we get identity and this is phi square and it's also an element of h and in the subgroup conjugate subgroup so we cannot write it again now g is psi now we can change the element g and do it again with the elements of h and taking the first element of the subgroup that is phi so we have phi psi and phi and because here we have psi square is identity so we can write it as this and we can also write it that so write it like this that phi psi inverse is equal to psi so this is replaced by the psi and we have psi phi psi now we can solve this to make it an element of h if it is possible uh, because in the combination we have this thing that psi phi and psi square is is identity so we can write it as 
like this so this is we can use the property of inverse and this is equal to psi and phi inverse is equal to phi square so we can replace this by this so we can replace this by this now we have psi phi and psi this thing and we're going to replace it by with psi phi square this will be psi and psi phi square this can be computed and this will be psi square and this is identity and we have phi square and this element of h and this is also in the conjugate subgroup so we cannot write it again now we did it for the first element now for the second psi square phi square so we have psi phi square and again psi because psi inverse is equal to psi and we have psi phi square and psi. so in the last step we have used phi is equal to psi phi square so if you're going to see the value of phi psi square so we can write it as as phi square psi is equal to psi phi that is we are going to take the inverse this is the smallest way of, of doing this so if you are not sure that how it comes so you can take the inverse or you can also take you can also multiply it with phi that is equal to this and in this way we have phi psi phi square and we have used the value of this thing so you can put it here at psi phi square and phi square and this will be equal to phi and psi so this is the same value we can use the value of phi square psi is equal to psi phi equal to psi square phi and this is identity so we have only phi and that is an element of the of the indicate subgroup so we cannot write it again now we are done with the psi the element of g and we don't need to do with identity and the next is phi and psi and I'm not going to do this because this is a task for you so you can do it and there is a hint that this H is indeed a normal subgroup of the group G so you can check that whether we have another element in the conjugate subgroup or not or uh, so for this conjugate subgroup must be coincides with the not subgroup or the group this it must coincide with the conjugate subgroup so this is for now, we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.